Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in GTA Online, and this car in front of me has a pretty interesting story behind it with me in it. Like, <clears throat> I wasn't able to play GTA Online when this car was first released, and now that's back in the game for only a few more days. I wanted to buy several, but, um, I'm a bit poor. You can't see it right now because my face cam is covering it, but I only have $51,000. <coughs> Anyways, this is the Tundra Panther. I don't even know how to say it. It's it's such a weird how 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 just how 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 do you pronounce that? Basically, it's an Alpine A one ten, and damn, I love it. So this, I think it's like one of the best sports cars. Also, um, the reason I'm this way is because my headset needs to charge. I um, it's on low battery and stuff, so. Yeah. But I want to get this video done while I have an hour break because I don't have um, my English class today. Or I don't think I have it for the entire week. So I might make uh, daily videos then. <laughs> but anyways, this is based off the Alpine A110, which already the Alpine A110 is one of the probably, I think it's one of the rarest sports cars out there. And it's one of my favorites. So whenever it was in GTA Online, whenever it got added to GTA Online, I knew that I just had to pick one up. Because, oh my god, I love this car so much. And I would probably own, like, several in real life with several different builds. But unfortunately, there's really only one type of build you can do with this thing. And it's like a, um, GTC car. Not GTC. Um... But like a, a small cup car that I can make with this um, car. It's mid-engine, dribble drive. It has amazing, bro. Has really amazing handling and stuff. And it's also pretty fast. We could, bro. Why do people never meet their mics? It's always the lower levels, dude. And they had a uh, one billion KD. Anyways, I guess let's. Take this into the storm drain. And this thing is actually insanely fast. Oh, my freaking cord. It's plugged into my Xbox and actually can I plug in into No, that's not that's not plugged in. But it can actually go really fast. I'm pretty sure I did 130 in this once. Going faster and faster. We're almost at 120. Even if this thing doesn't do 120, I think it's still in the best um cars in the game. Because at lower speeds, it loves to oversteer. Like a lot. Like this thing will literally spin itself spin itself out. Up oh, there's a um crash from plane. No thanks. Anyway, this customization on this. We're actually gonna check out some of the customization on this because it's amazing as well. First, oh, I just noticed the badge there. That's awesome, dude. This thing can get up to 130. We just reached 130 there, but its natural top speed is around 120. Yeah, like, I want to say one... Actually, literally 120. Just about. So I guess we're going to take this thing um, to LS Customs just up here. I always, um... Whoa. Oh, right, there's a gen sky. That does a blimp for a sec. But we can just hop up here, and LS Customs is right here. Now, this thing actually has some pretty okay customization. I'll show you what I mean whenever you say you can only make this into like a cup car or something like a. Looks like you just had a normal track there or something. So, with the bumpers and stuff. Just have a few actually pretty cool splitters. This car in general is like absolutely beautiful, man. And yes, my secondary color is red because of the brake calipers. But like, like the splitters and stuff, you have um, they're all like racing splitters and stuff. There's not really anything um like streety unless you count stuff like this. And with the diffuser, it's all like racy diffusers and stuff. There's even some rally stuff in here. I'm pretty sure, um, yeah, the plate super splitter actually has a, a skid plate on it, I'm pretty sure. But there's no actual like rally lights because you just have those um two in the front there. And the exhaust is also kind of interesting as well. And with the grill, it's just down here and stuff. So the options are pretty nice, but I'm pretty sure everyone goes to the GT grill or the um 
Or unless you could just remove the grill in general. But I guess you could go with the sports grill if you really wanted to, like a mesh. But the um, Carbon GT grill adds a ton of uh, extra detail and stuff. There's also like some uh, racy hoods here with a um, gas pump in the front there. Pretty much this thing was just built to do, built to be a um, actual race car with the cage and stuff. But I actually do another build on this with a um, race car. <coughs> also, all the liveries are like kind of racing liveries. A ton of people go with this. The um, sketch speed. But there's also a ton of other really cool liveries and stuff for this as well. Probably my favorite livery is the um, Tricolore or the Tricolor. And this one's really cool as well, the uh, white pinstripe too. This does have a ton of um, liveries and uh, even has louvers for some reason. And the wing, the roof is actually really interesting as well because you have... Um, you can do a full carbon roof if you really wanted to. That actually looks pretty sick. And they can even get a sunroof as well. Which, actually, I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Don't know if I want to go with a uh, carbon roof. I think that the blue looks better. And then he also has some really, really nice side skirts. But I just chose more subtle ones to add probably the most detail. There's even sun strips and stuff. I should go with that as well. Could have done a carbon one, but I think that the um, black just looks better. The spoiler is actually um, really interesting as well, because you don't have any like ducktail options like I really wish there were. I guess this thing already has a stock ducktail, but I do have um, pretty much every wing is like a larger wing. You've had a, a few chassis mounts as well, like the uh, GT wing and the uh, high level. But I just, 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 once again, decided to go with the most subtle thing. I say subtle, but it's nowhere even near subtle. It's the Panther exclusive. And the suspension as well. It does actually have some considerable ground clearance. So if you did want to go with a um, rally build, you could go with those plated diffusers and the splitter and stuff. But yet again, those are more for like uh, racing, so it doesn't really match. So it does have some pretty decent customization. Um, actually, a pretty high level amount of customization for a car like this, because it's not as popular of a car. But it's still a really nice car to own and drive and stuff. And it's actually, like, seriously fast. And probably my favorite part about it is easily those um, fog lights in the front there. And you can even easily tell that this thing has some pretty good oversteer and stuff. I'll actually uh, test that on a different road. It doesn't even take a lot to make this thing slide. Like, you could just break in, turn it, and then it loves to oversteer a lot. Because it has a short wheelbase and it's a bit engine, so that kind of makes it like the perfect formula for even like a drift car and stuff. But I'd say for a race car, it does like to slide a little more. But if you can control that slide, you can absolutely fly through corners. And it's and this car makes it fun while doing it too. At lower speeds, it even um turns sharp as well. And at higher speeds as well, if you try and take a quarter a little faster, it'll still kick. It'll still kick really well. It doesn't have a lot of downforce or grip, but that oversteer makes up for it. And it really um just makes this car a really really fun car to drive to slide around with. Um. You could just basically just driving this car makes the game a way better experience in general. Like you have your oppressor Mark One, that's incredible, incredibly fun. The scramjet kind of hard to uh, control and stuff, but still fun. Even I have a um, apocalypse bruiser, which I just love to try and fly through the sky. If you do on that soon, actually, maybe even later today. But just this car in general, the handling and stuff and its speed just makes it. So so fun to drive like you could try and take corners um like with grip and it'll do that you could try and take corners uh with speed and sliding and it'll do that stupid traffic you could try and just fully send it into the corner and drift out of it and it will do that this car will literally do exactly what you want it to do you want to grip a quarter okay let's grip a quarter you want to drift a corner okay let's drift a corner you know, turn into the corner and then you want to drift out of it. 
sure, we could do that. This car is so fun to drive, and it might be unpredictable at times, but that's what makes it so fun to drive. It always keeps you guessing and stuff, and the handling as well, it's a little boaty and a little floaty. So that's what makes it even more fun. This, for one point, how much is this car? I'm pretty sure it's 1.795. 2.1 million? Oh, geez, I did not expect it to be that much. That's just a little less than the Virtue. I guess that's the price to pay for a limited car, but... I mean, it feels like 1.7 or 1.6. I could get behind it, but this car is more expensive than the 10F. Way more expensive than the 10F, actually. Jeez, man. And even right now, the Terrera XO is on sale. I think it's more, actually it's, yeah, it's more expensive than that SM722. Jeez, man. I was not expecting that. Hmm. It is still worth picking up because you have a super fun, lightweight, um, and limited car. I don't think barely anyone got this. Through all the time I've been playing GTA Online this week, I haven't seen anyone else in the uh, uh, Panther. This thing is an incredible car, and I absolutely love it. Honestly, I would say it is still worth 2.1 million because it's a, an unbelievably fun and fast car. And it's not going to be here for very long. It's only going to be here till Wednesday, so definitely pick one up. Or two. Hundred. Thousand. Because this is probably the most fun car in GT Online by far. And the, the customization is okay. And overall, this thing is just 110% worth it. So much so.